Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel. Today we're looking at the brand brand new release by Illusionist and Mark Lemon and that is To The Point. So let's roll the intro and get straight into the review of this product. Perfect, thank you so much for sticking around and wanting to learn more about To The Point. Now, what is To The Point? Unfortunately for this, I cannot do a performance because I have no one with me right now to perform it to. And this is a mentalism piece with a one-on-one -on -one or a group of five or four people. So I can't physically, I cannot physically perform this for you even if I wanted to, I'm not able to. But essentially what the effect is, is you show a, a pointed book and you explain to them what the pointed book is. And the concept is essentially they, you point to a picture to tell someone in a foreign country that you don't speak the language of what you're referring to. So for example, if you wanted to change, you would go and you would like point to change and you tell them, yeah, I want change. So that's essentially what a pointed book is. You can actually find these on Amazon or I think they even have them on Walmart. You know, when you go in Walmart and you pass like the book section, I think there's some of these like in the, in the throwaway bins. So this is actually something you can buy. It's not an invented uh, prop. So essentially that the effect, cause I got a kind of sidetrack, but the effect is either you're going to throw this book to five or four people in the audience. You're going to have them open up, think of any image, close it, pass it around. And they're going to tell everyone that has an image to stand up. And then you're going to be able to say, I feel that someone is thinking of this, 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 this. If I've named the object or the thing or whatever you're thinking of, please sit down everyone will sit down. So it's essentially a toss deck deck in a book. But the one-on-one -on -one performance is a bit different. The one-on-one -on -one performance, you take the book, you give it to the spectator, they open the page, they look at the biggest picture on the page, they look at the biggest picture on the two pages, they remember it, and then you can mentally divine the exact thing they saw. So you can physically detect the exact thing they saw in the one-on-one -on -one performance, whereas the stage performance, you cannot say the exact thing. So keep that in mind. But there's a lot more to say, so that's essentially just an overview of the effect. It's a tossed out deck in a pointed book. So where do you buy this and how much does it cost? This is available, I believe right now, at Illusionist, which is where I bought it. So whether you like Illusionist or not, if you like this product, it is also available at other retailers. I know some people hold strong opinions about Illusionist um, and how they operate and they prefer to just wait for products to be available at other stores as well. But I believe this is available in other places as well, but I think it's selling out fast. So maybe by the time this video goes up, it's already sold out. So you'll have to wait for the second batch, but it costs $29.99 US dollars. And uh, this is what you get when you purchase it from Illusionist or anywhere else you get two books. One of them is ungimmicked. One of them is gimmicked. You know which one is which based on the back, on the barcode. So you know which is which. So you can do, you can actually have this inspected, switch it, whatever. We'll talk that, we'll talk more about that in depth later. So you get two books and you also get the typical illusionist format that they've been using. You get a video separated in a lot of categories. You'll have um, introduction, history, props, what you get, performing it for groups, for single people in different scenarios. It is a extra, extra good explanation video. I'm gonna tell you this, it is phenomenal. It is almost two hours long. I think could even be more than two hours long because there's an hour and 20 minutes jazz session on this project between Le Mark Lemon and Peter Turner on the project. So this is a long video and you're going to get a lot of things. And Mark goes in so much detail and he gives you so many tips that I legit was blown away by the instructional video. Usually illusionists do pretty to the point videos. I like their format of, you know, quick categories, but usually they're pretty fast, but this goes so in depth, literally just the video is worth the price of admission of how good it is. Like it, it it's great. So the video is great and you also get the two books and that's what you get. Now, what is the difficulty of to the point? It is easy. It is super easy. If you're doing the stage version, 
it is pretty much self-working. There is this much memory work you have to do. It's super, 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 super tiny. You just have to remember like a tossed out deck, five things. I mean, that's pretty transparent to say, but you're going to have to remember five things. But the way in which this works is so much better than the tossed out deck because when they open the page, all the images, I I'm, I'm not going to tip the, meta, the method or anything, but all the images are different, but yet you still know which one they're thinking of. And the working of this is actually great. It's actually so smart. So, so yeah, I won't go more into this, but for the stage one, you just have to remember five things. For the one-on-one -on -one performance, which differs, you're going to have to remember a bit more. Not really, still five things, but you're going to have to to play a bit more with, um, with your performance. And what I mean by that is I think on a one-on-one, -on -one, it goes from easy to intermediate. Um, intermediate easy, it's not super hard. But I think that if you do this for just one person, you're going to have to do a switch. So you're going to have to do that because I feel if you do this for just one person, they're going to want to look through the book. They're going to want to do that. So I feel it's important to have them look, explain to them what this is by showing them and having them look at different pictures and scroll through. So I do think that if you do it one-on-one, -on -one, a switch is, is almost mandatory. And also for one-on-one, -on -one, there is some psych psychological things going on here. And I'm not, I don't mean psychological forces or anything like that, but there is a point in the routine where you do have to study the spectator as to one thing that he does or she does. Um, so that's all I'm going to say, but it does require a bit more work than the, the stage performance. And it does require after that a bit more fine tuning and a bit more fine tuning of the wording that you say, but you are able to tell them the exact thing they're thinking of. So keep that in mind. Stage, you can't tell them exact, exact, but they'll feel you got it exact. Whereas when you do it one-on-one, -on -one, even though it's a bit more difficult, you can tell them exactly what they're thinking of. So that's essentially about difficulty, easy and intermediate and in between. So it's a bit of, of everything. What is practicality of this? Practicality is carrying around these two books. They're not that big. So I have like a, a gorilla hand. My hand is really, really big and it's around this size. So I can hold it in my hand. It's not super big. It's not super small too. I think it's just because of width, it's a bit bigger. I think if the width was smaller, it would be like the size of an iPhone, like 11 pro max. So it's not that, that big. It's, I mean, if you're a stage performer, you just plug this in your case and you're good to go. But if uh, you want to perform this at a night out, you're going to have to carry or carry the books or the book, depending how you want, because this doesn't need to be inspected. But you're going to have to carry on the book or books with you in your pocket or your bag or whatever in your coat pocket somewhere. You're going to have to carry around the books. So for some people, that may not be practical. But for stage, for parlor, for cabaret, for weddings, for anywhere where you plan on performing, this is a super easy carry. But if you just want to use this like as an EDC impromptu thing, probably not. But I don't even think that's what it's meant to do. So that's about practicality. And I also kind of hinted at where you perform this. I think this can be performed anywhere. Honestly, you can perform this one on one. So you can do it casual settings. You can do this at a if you want, you know, at a bar or at a restaurant this will fly. You can do this at weddings, at round tables, at restaurants, at events where you're moving. This will play well. And of course, cabaret, parlor, stage, this slays. So this is technically performable everywhere, pretty much. And um, yeah, this is great. I, I think this is performable everywhere, no matter what your getup is. Because usually I tell everyone, you know, it's performable on parlor stage if you have cameras or whatever. This, you don't need a camera because it's interactive. Everyone sees what's going on. And um, yeah, so this is performable everywhere, no matter the setups you have. So now that everything is out of the way, let's also talk briefly before going into positives and negatives. 
of the books themselves. These are really good quality books and the images and everything look so nice. Look at this. This looks so nice. They look really, really nice. They're printed. It feels like it's an actual book. It also has um, like author notes and like introduction. It actually feels like a real book, both at the start and at the end. It has like, uh, you know, author like end notes and like history. It actually feels like a real book and actually feels like something you could just buy off the internet. So the props are really good quality. And I really want to retouch upon this one last time is that the problem being good quality doesn't overshadow the fact that the video is amazing. You're going to learn so much. I think that once you finish it, if you decide to watch the entire jazz session and the entirety of everything, you're going to go and absolutely slay with this out of the box. You just have to watch the videos. And after that, you're going to slay your shows and your crowds with this. This is great. And I feel that the thinking that Mark put into this is phenomenal. The fact that um, a tossed out deck. Essentially, people know it's a 1 in 52 and you can only be thinking of playing cards. But when you show this a book and there's so many pictures inside of the book, um, people are going to be like, wow, this person could have thought of over like 300 images. And even the spectators that select an image to think about, they're going to be like, yeah, he was right. And, you know, there was like, 10 pictures on my thing. I don't remember them exactly, but I know there was a lot of them, but he got the exact one I was thinking of. And the thinking of that and the psychology of that is great. And I do think that just the video and the props make this a worthwhile buy. It is great, great, great. It is really, really good. Especially if I had to toss that deck like me, this is phenomenal. It's gonna take you to another level. Now, let's finish up the review. Um, what are the positives and the negatives? What are the negatives? If you're a casual bar performer, carry around carrying this around with you may not be the play. Second, if you want this to be inspected, you're going to need to do a switch. So that's a second negative. Um, and a third negative is um, that may I'm, I'm going to stretch stretch the negatives to the most I can to give you the most things I can. If um, a spectator, let's say you tell them what they're thinking of. They show this in the trailer, but when it's a one-on-one, -on -one, it's easy to do. But if it would be on stage, it wouldn't be. If let's say someone on stage after you tell them wants to be like a hard, a hard ass, sorry for the language. And they're going to tell me, Oh yes, I was thinking of that. But what exact was I thinking? So for example, let's say, I feel you're thinking of an animal, you're thinking of something, you're thinking of a bird, right? Let's say they tell you, oh, but what bird am I thinking of? Then it gets a bit complicated. You won't be able to do that. But, you know, if that arises, you can probably diffuse the situation or whatever. And that will probably never happen. But it is something that could happen. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm stretching the limit of what is a negative to give to you. But, you know, stretching the limits is what I like to do and giving you the most information I can. So those are the negatives. What are the positives? It is a brilliant take on the tossed out deck. It rejuvenates my love for the tossed out deck. The props are amazing. The price is amazing. The instructions are phenomenal. I think there's a beautiful trend we're getting now in Magic where the instructions are skyrocketing. They're skyrocketing right now. And I love this. Quantum deck, brilliant instructions. Shrapnel, brilliant instructions to the point brilliant instructions unhanded by gp valerino brilliant instructions i feel so many products right now are skyrocketing in their instructional videos and making them so good and so consumer friendly that when you get your five minute video by n2g showing you just a quick coin move for two and a half minutes and then saying thank you for purchasing you kind of feel cheated so i think that now videos are setting up the bar for the quality of the tutorials and i love that so small tangent, I'm a stop because I feel that a few years ago, instructional videos were literally becoming five and five minutes or under or 10 minutes or under. And that was it. That was the entire instructional video. So I like that products are going um, to the moon and giving you ideas and performance tips in the instructional video. That's another positive. Second positive is you can perform this anywhere. Uh, you have different ways in which you can perform it for groups. And for individual one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to play fully differently, which is absolutely great. And, um, 
yeah, it's a great effect. I think it's enjoyable and the props are super justifiable. They're super fun. I think there's a great effect and I think it's another good product uh, put out onto the market. We've been looking at really good products. At the same time, uh, m most of the time, uh, some people tell me in Instagram that, oh, you know, all the products you review are really good. And I mean, I, I purchased those products with my own money. I know that reviewers that I love, like Craig Petty, you know, buy everything so they can review on the most things they can and they get gigs all the time and, you know, they're really active and uh, they're really cemented in the community. But I myself am not, so I can't really afford to buy everything if I know it's going to be bad. So if I see a trailer or something and I see everyone saying, oh my God, this is shit, don't buy this, I won't buy it, right? So I usually buy things that I feel are going to be good and I feel are going to suit me and are feel that are things that I should show to you as well. So that's why most of the time the, the products I review have good grades and good opinions. It's not because I'm biased or it's not because, you know, I love everything and I just want to promote garbage or stuff like that to you. It's just that I review things that I know will work for me, that I will probably love. And 95% of the time I'm correct and they are good products. Sometimes I'm wrong. I take the hit as always in the magic community. You take the plunge and it fails. It is what it is. But um, yeah, that's I just wanted to do a side note of why I usually give things really good scores which leads me into the verdict. Is this a good product? Will I recommend to buy it? Yes, if you like the toss out deck, if you like the performance, it is as transparent as it can be. You will be happy with your purchase. For those that want a numerical scale value on this, it is great, it is fun to perform, 9.25 on 10. It is a fantastic product. So enough rambling about, probably not a long of you, not many of you have reached this point, but nonetheless, thank you for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you that comes and comments on my Instagram, on my video, gives a like, a subscribe. I love every single one of you. Thank you so much. I love, you know, talking to everyone. And um, yeah, thank you so much and see you in the next review. Bye-bye.